such a time like this is very normal it is very very normal for you to want to worry it's very normal for you to worry, want to worry about yourself about your loved ones about your friends about your church about your community and the world at large hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello and if you're a returning subscriber hey my name is Kito and I make videos from the Netherlands I make videos on my faith and modest lifestyle in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm dealing with this season things that have helped me to focus on the right thing during this crisis as I've had as I have family members that are exposed to this uncertainty and I know that there are people out there that are either in the process of treating this um, symptoms or have family members that are exposed to this or people that feel that they're safe and um, are worried if they're going to get this um, thing or not. I'll be sharing in this video some of the verses that have helped me. I guess I will quote it here and there, but let's start with Isaiah 40 verse 28. It says, Have you never heard, have you never understood that the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth? He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depth of his understanding. Related to the first point that's helped me and it is knowing the nature of God. Focusing on the nature of God will grant you and give you peace. Who is this God we're talking about? He's a loving father. He's a gracious God. He's the one that created you. And more than even just knowing that he's God, he's daddy. I can only imagine if my dad was to see me in a situation that I was hurting or in a situation where I will be hurt, he's going to want to do something, right? How much more our Heavenly Father that loves us more than even our earthly father can, therefore take time to reflect on who he is, what he's done, and how he's been faithful in time past. One thing I know is God is good even in bad times because that's his nature a time like this is very normal it is very very normal for you to want to worry it's very normal for you to worry, want to worry about yourself about your loved ones about your friends about your church about your community and the world at large but there is something that gives us hope and peace in this time another verse of the bible i want to read to you is philippians 4 verse 6 to 8 and now it says here, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. So like I said in the other verse, it's important for you to know the nature of God because then you can thank him for his faithfulness and all that. And then you tell him what you need from him. And at this time, like a good daddy, he is, he's going to be able to answer. It now says in verse 7, then you would experience God's peace. Not the peace that is first, not the peace that the world gives, not any type of peace that you can fabricate. It's God's peace you'd experience. And until you experience that peace, you can continually ask God for it. You know, when you're losing the peace, ask again. Another thing is, this peace exceeds anything we can understand. So it's not something your mind can process, your human reasoning can assess you know it's nothing like that it's a peace that you would not even understand that's what the bible is saying it now says his peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in christ jesus so it's telling us here that that peace guards our mind guards our mind against the news guards our mind against bad news we guard our mind against evil reports that peace would guard your heart and mind. But you also have a responsibility. Don't go looking for the news every five minutes. Don't go looking at the news saying what's happening because then you're not guarding your heart. It says that we should guard our hearts with all diligence, you know? So you also have a part to play, but God's peace as well is able to guard your heart. Another thing he says, and your mind. What are you thinking about? The more you think about something, it means you're meditating on it. So the more you meditate on this situation, it means you're lifting it up, you're exalting it. The more you speak about it, you're praising it. It's how do we praise God? 
talking about him, talking about the good things he's done. The same thing in this situation, if you choose to continually talk about all the bad things that are happening, it means we are present in the situation and at the end of the day, God does not get the glory, God does not get the praise, God does not get the adoration. Your heart does not meditate on the right thing. It says in Joshua 1 verse 8, that you should meditate on the word of God in day in and day out, in the morning, afternoon, at noon, at night, and then you would have good success. If you want to come out of this season, victorious if you want to come out of the season having the hope and strength and you and growth that god wants to cause to happen in you and in me then we have to have our hearts and our minds on the right thing do not praise the virus do not glorify it do not meditate on it do not evangelize for it but the thing to do is to put your heart and your mind in the right place you know what the bible says to renew our minds with the word of god because the devil is going to keep coming at you left right center the news is going to keep coming left right center so if you do not have something that's constantly renewing the state of your mind you're going to be drowned you know and for you to combat that you cannot just be idle don't just sit down and say ah nothing is going to affect you it's affecting you because your subconscious is being affected without even you knowing so you have to constantly feed that mind feed it with the word of god renew your mind listen to messages i'm coming to that point in a few minutes let me continue reading and it now says in verse 8 and now dear brothers and sisters so not just women not just men everybody you know one final thing fix those thoughts fix that means you steady it, you stay it. Fix those thoughts on what is true. What is true is the word of God. The word of God is true above every other thing. Facts are there, but the truth is the truth. Another thing it says, what is true and honorable? What is honorable? For me, I just think it's the scriptures. Thinking about the goodness of God, the faithfulness, recounting his tes- the testimonies you've had, recounting all the good things God has done over and over and over again. Another thing we see here, and what is right and pure and lovely. This is a time that some people will be in their houses and they're fighting. This is a time for them to fix their thought on what is right, on what is pure, and what is lovely, what's admirable. And then think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. This is what we're meant to do and if you do this i'm sure that by the end of this period the worry cannot stay where there's faith so be so faith-filled know that god has said this you believe it even if it does not look like that even if it does not seem like that even if it looks like you're being crazy keep doing it do it because then god honors his words more than his name tip number three that has helped me during this season is knowing my responsibility i've heard a lot of people arguing during this period i think this is that's so uncalled for on the internet arguing if a pastor took the right decision if um, another person is being faithless i think let's be guided you know let's be guided you are not in the pastor's position you can only pray for him your responsibility now is to pray not to complain to wash your hands you know don't go around touching things and saying because you have a good immune system and then you put other people at risk or because you say you have faith nothing can happen to you yes you've heard of men of god that that did this and did that and they didn't fall sick yes just men of god during their time god allow that to be so don't go around tempting god and even if you don't fall sick there are other people that you have the responsibility to be a keeper, a brother's keeper to them as well. There are all people around you, people that suffer from sicknesses that are around you. It's your responsibility, it's my responsibility to be guided. Do not take this for granted. Wash your hands. Stay in your house. If you don't have to have anything you're doing outside, I advise you to stay in your house. There are people that have the virus and don't have no symptoms. They are absolutely no symptoms. They're not coughing. They're not. You're not sick. But then, when they come in, in contact with other people that have a lower immune system, they get sick. So know your responsibility, not just to yourself, not just to your family, but to every other person around you. So it's very good for us to have faith, but be wise. The last and final tip in this video is the opportunity. What is God saying? Why are we all having to? 
change our schedules, our habits, the things we're used to. Change is never easy for anyone. And even in this time and season, many people are feeling uncomfortable. They're feeling, they're fidgeting. They're not able to stay at home. They're not able to, they're just not okay because something has disrupted their routine. The Bible states in Ephesians 5 verse 16, it says redeeming the time because the days are evil. This is an opportunity for you to redeem the time. It's an opportunity for you to do something valuable with this time. Don't just sit and watch Netflix and chill all day. This is an opportunity for you to maximize the time you have. You always wanted to learn a new skill, do it now. You've always wanted to finish that book, finish that book now. You've always wanted to write that poem, do it now. There is nothing stopping you. And like I said earlier, you can choose to praise the problem. You can choose to meditate on the problem. You can choose to study the problem. Going from news, uh, plat one news platform to another, now is the time for you to do the same. So be in your word, read the word, meditate on the word, stay in the word, praise God. Sometimes you don't have to praise God because he's done something. Praise him because of who he is. Just watch it. Stay in the place. Have Create an atmosphere in your house where there's worship, you know? You're just grateful to God because he's there. And even if you're going through a difficult time at the moment, like I said, if a family member is sick, if you are yourself, you're hurting, you, you have some things that are causing you to worry, symptoms, this is a time as well for you to just know that your daddy is kind, your daddy loves you, your daddy is God, and whatever he chooses to do, he's good. Now is not a time to entertain fear. Do not allow the devil to play tricks on your mind, that is this or that is this person or that person, just rest in God's word. Just be still and know that he's God. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have scriptures that have helped you in this season, please don't forget to leave them down in the comment section and share with us how you've been dealing with the situation so that we are all edified. Now do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. There's also a bell on the side of the subscribe button, which is the notification bell. Click on it. Take care. Be safe. Have faith. And see you. God bless. Bye.